welcome back to my channel. Y'all know I'm doing it big because I got eight beautiful ladies today in a video. Wow, man. Uh... Y'all gotta hit the let's 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 leave <laughs> A for ten thousand likes because I got all these girls, bro. And CJ Champ just dropped. We got Raruga, uh, a legacy dog, of greatness. Now, Mills. hey, I didn't even know today was gonna drop. I thought it was gonna drop tomorrow, but he dropped it today. Hi, hey, I'm Daniela. Instagram Sedeska S P D E S S K A A. So give me a follow. I'm wearing sweats, so you can see the top. Oh, let me get up a little bit. Oh, God. It's a, it's a body suit. Okay. 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 You in the green. I see you. My name is Dead Doll. Um, my TikTok is Dead Doll Magic. My Instagram is Dead Doll Tarot. Um, you can follow me on all of that. My in, my YouTube is actually I Am Doll. Go follow me. My new single is out. No matter what you do. Ooh. Hey. Yeah, I'm just wearing my bodysuit that I got from TikTok Shop. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. TikTok Shop in a building. Hi, how are you, everyone? My name is Frida. You can follow me on TikTok as Miss dot dot e f, or you can follow me on Instagram as Miss underscore Frida G E. And yes, you can follow me right there. Hey y'all, it's Kayla, and you can follow my Instagram at I am Kayla Simone, two E's, as well as my TikTok. Well, my new TikTok, Kayla Simone with two E's, and you'll see my YouTube link up in there too. So make sure you check that out. Hey. Okay. Okay. Hey. Hi, I'm Olivia Gonzalez. You can follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Olivia Gonzalez 05. And I just got a cute little crop top on with some black jeans. Okay. Hey. She coming with the crop tops every video, y'all. Y'all are crop top lady. We got everybody comment that in the comments. Crop top lady. <laughs> Hi, I'm Raya. You can follow me at DJ Fire Raya. It's F D J F Y A R Y A, and it's the same on TikTok. Oh, so you a DJ? Yeah. Okay. But okay. Okay, and it sounds cute. Hello, friends. My name is Luli. You guys can find me on all social media platforms. Is that girl Luli? L U L Y. I also have a short film that I wrote, directed, scripted, and starred in. It's called Microscopic, and you guys can check that out on my YouTube as well. Shoot. Cool. Uh -huh. and, uh, oh, wait. My little fit check. Little fit check. Oh, yeah, fit. Let you me do my little fit. Fit. You gotta see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got to I gotta fix the little sky real quick. Okay. You got me a little fit check. Whoa. A little fit check. Oh, my God. You know, I got yes. the neat eyes going on with I love. Okay. Oh. Hi, everybody. I'm Two Faced. Two Faced on all platforms. You've seen me before. It'll be in the description. Let's get it. So then the king came out. So you would have to think this man is the king of his village. So no way he could be sorry, right? <laughs> 12 seconds later. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's girls, funny. These girls didn't see part one, but some of them did. But hey, this is part two to this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Ryuga trial. And ladies and Ray gentlemen, Uga. we already know what's up. After the longest Exhibit 8 in roundtable history, and with a whopping score of 161, it is time to submit the legacy of the greatest nigga to ever wield a spinning top. So y'all already know we got all the rest of the evidence on deck. The ranking system is ready to rock and roll. So without further ado, Exhibit B. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, mm. I now present to you Exhibit B, Return of the Goat. <laughs> now, as we know, Ryuga suffered the mm. first loss of his career off of some bush because we know in anime, the power of friendship Not is risky. undefeated. So you would have to think, usually after a main antagonist loses, it kind of fall off. I mean, it happens to the best of them. But Ryuga? <laughs> Shit. After this man lost, this man went straight back to the lab in a boiling hot volcano. And bro was serious about never getting hoed ever again. Uh -oh. This man trained his ass off, overcame the dark power, and unlocked Meteo El Drago. And boy, oh boy, I'm serious. <laughs> Nobody was right, assisting with this. I'm gonna just go ahead and tell you that now. So now we move on to Italy and we have our sights set again on Subasa. Now we all remember that bro got boomed and completely annihilated at Battle Bladers. But get this 
Bro did not just get put in a coma. No, this brother got immense PTSD. The dark power literally <laughs> infected, bro. No, and this is a whole point, bro. He literally transmutated a whole disease to this nigga. So infected Subasa ends up pulling up on Team Excalibur and is straight up trying to murder them. But while they're fighting, they end up hearing something Whoa, in the distance. Nelly. Oh, no. Oh, did you all hear that? Oh, it's the you got an accent like me. And look at this nigga. This is walking in with a meteor so shower. Now. And bro wasn't even done. He summoned his bang as a meteor. It just blew That's up the whole thing. area. Making a massive crater. This right necessary? here might be one of the greatest interests of all time. But we ain't gonna forget the fact, though, that that is a massive amount of environmental damage, my nigga. Like, this man was this close to <laughs> probably starting the world's largest wildfire. But look at him. Bro did not come to play games. Dude immediately just wants to wreak havoc and sends the these two flying. And he wasn't even done with him. Bro said, ah, El Draco, cut that nigga. And bro right here gets him boomed. And the fact that he just watched these two with ease is just wild. Because Team Excalibur are basically the Euro League champions. And he watched them in under 30 seconds. So Julian comes to save his teammates from getting thrashed anymore. And the thing is, Julian's bay has reverse rotation as well. And also, not to mention, this nigga is a elegant asshole. So Ryuga looked at bro and said, Ah, that's a nice toy you got there, buddy. Did you get that piece of shit from Timo? I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what Timo was until this year. I might be late. I never shopped on there. I'm gonna be honest. Have y'all? I don't know about that. I Timo I heard it's basically Wish, but they rebranded. So Ryuga retracts his bay, and before he leaves, he tells him, Remember this, you pompous ass. There can only be one. One reverse rotation bay in this world, and it belongs to me, the GOAT! Not a blade blade. So after that confrontation, this man travels to America, and he's somewhere just in the Grand Canyon. So these soldiers come up and tell him, Freeze! Put your hands in the motherfucking air, or we gonna boom your shit, nigga! And they got the red down sights, the lasers, and everything. They look like they're really about to kill hey, this man. But this confrontation is when Ryuga showed that he is on a different level oh, than okay, everybody yeah. else. I kid you not, this man laughed like a crown. and threw out his bay with yeah. his bare hands. I knew it! This nigga serious? This nigga don't even need the launcher no more. And now yeah, the soldiers that. are pissed. <laughs> nigga, this is premium disrespect. This is the equivalent to bringing so. a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> So they end up shooting at him, and their base keep on hitting his, but all that is just making El Drago so. rotate even faster, and their impending <laughs> doom more imminent. So yeah, it was over for them. All five of them He's get thrown Is that Dr. Doom? Baby? What? Yeah, them boys bodies. are dead, let's be honest. Them niggas got baked, but a man in a hood ends up stopping his They're attack. Cut. And it is none other than... Zesty Jack! <laughs> So Jack ends up taking Ryuga to Hades City and brings him to HD Academy, which is basically a developmental academy for bladers. And it is ran by none other than Dr. Ziggurat. So Ryuga mad as hell, cause he came for the smoke and they wasted his time. And also trying to do experiments <laughs> on Nel Drago. Look at bro try to kill Jack. Bro is lucky he was behind bulletproof glass. So they end up making him fight Zio, who is a literal bum compared to Ryuga. So they get to letting it rip and Ryuga's already <laughs> pushing them back. But to be fair, Ryuga you did have to come over adversity in this fight because this man's bay was built so fucking awkward because he had this fat ass spinner stim. I don't know what the yeah, fuck like, that is, is that? but it's fat as shit. Right this man there. Zio talking <laughs> shit right. too. Bro I'm saying, ha, you can't beat my big sis. Not a chance in hell. Like, bro, do you know who the f you're going against? Oh, Dylan Brooks ass <laughs> nigga. So it took like a good minute for Ryuga to read, bro. Then he told him. Nigga, when my name come up, respect it. So this man pulled out his new special move, and instead of shooting Gala guns, bros now shooting Crusums and blows this nigga's bay up and pins it in the ground. Nigga out here disrespecting the goat. Nigga, who the fuck you think you is, little bro? So this man, Dr. Ziggurat, ends up trying to trap this man, Ryuga, but they just pissed off bro even more. Nigga said, get me the fuck out this musty ass room. So bro <laughs> blows a hole in the building to make his escape. But this man just... He said, get me out this musty room that blows a hole just to escape it, though. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know The look that. in his eyes, too, he was like, great.
I didn't even know that Beyblades were like a show or anything. I thought they were just toys. No, it's so actually a show though. Weird. No, I used to you play with Beyblades. I, I never that. watched the show though. I never watched it though. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Wild. yeah I used to have them. I used to have them, but I didn't know it was a show. Who else had Beyblades in here though? Who else played with Beyblades? Don't lie. I had Beyblades. I had the Bakugan. I mean, I didn't personally have my own. My brothers had them. Yeah. But you need a Yeah, Beyblade. Big Rock was on straight dick. Bro was like, oh, I need that man for my world domination. Ooh. So later on that day, this man sends Zio mm -hmm. and like eight soldiers to jump him in the park. And Ryuga looks completely dumb. Bro told him, ah, can you niggas get off my dick? I can't even breathe. <laughs> So all the soldiers end up shooting at him. <laughs> all right, you could hit the shadur on their ass. Bro said, look at the ice on my wrist, nigga. And blows <laughs> that all up. No wrist, and this man just caught another eight, eight bodies. Eight, eight bodies. Look at them. Them boys get it. Hey, I mean, at least the family gonna have the full body intact for the oh, funeral. Unlike that other nigga <laughs> from the training regiment. So now we move on <laughs> to the world championship. And at the moment, Team Japan is cooked. Masamune got his arm broke. Tsubasa and you got boomed before the tournament even started. Boom. So they had this man Jenga about to carry the whole team. So Jenga would have to face Zesty Jack next. But a meteor ends up coming in. And this man Ryuga ends up pulling up. Oh. He came up. Y'all gonna have the world championship without me? <laughs> Bitch, sub me in. I'll cut this blue Ooh. lipstick zesty motherfucker in a heartbeat. So Ryuga and Jack end up starting to fight. And this man, Jack, is batshit crazy. Not even gonna lie to you. This man was like, hey, I can't wait to turn you into what the water. You got oh. my preemptive juices running, my nigga. This nigga is crazy. So this man Jack pulls out his peacock and shoots an attack at him. But Ryuka stood there unfazed and El Dragon completely ate it. But Jack did not let off the pressure. Bro just started to push Ryuka while he was carving his art in the stadium. Like, look, bro, you are Oh my with god. This nigga. So this man tries to finish his work of art by trying to drill El Drago into the eye. And it looks like he almost had oh. this man. El Drago was slowing down and everything. But Ryuga had this man right where he wanted him. El Drago just starts going berserk. Ryuga tells him he wasn't even trying the whole thing. So yeah, it was time to pack up Zesty trying. Jack. So bro oh. charges up his dragon and burst in flight and strangles the fuck out of this peacock and incinerates oh. it. Oh. Oh, to finish not, off that not, man's work of art, not Bob Ross. Bob Ross. I love that guy. <laughs> wow. This man Jack lost his mind, bro. He was like, no, no, my work of art, my <laughs> But this man Ryuga was not done. He looked not at this man's doctor Ziggurat, looking all safe and shit in his skybox, and shoots his bay and stars him with the glass. This man Ryuga told him, "Get off my dick, nigga." And after this, they won the tournament. So Ryuga technically is now the world champion. Or just walked in the middle of the championships and left with a ring. So after the world championships, Dr. Ziggurat basically reveals to the entire world that he's a terrorist. And Haiti City is a literal flying blade blade building. And this man is a whole arms dealer. Bro, the whole city is a flying blade blade, bro. Literally, like, this is how far That's pretty tight. That's wild. insane. He's getting horny. Oh, so you just <laughs> so they fight on an arena of blade blades, and then they live on a blade blade. It's crazy, though. That's just and then the sky is a blade blade, and then the world is a blade blade. <laughs> you can so Maybe they don't know. Maybe they don't know they live on a blade blade. They have to know. <laughs> they have they, to know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Yeah. know. Maybe this is what aliens think about Earth. Some like. people are just oblivious. <laughs> yeah, they might. They, we know. might live on the Beyblade. Put you with the highest bid. And come on, we know who's gonna buy that. Not America. Ryuga is just looking at it from the distance. And my God, this has got to be this man's wildest feet. This man Ryuga said, fuck you, fuck your city, fuck your nuke, and fuck Skypea. Because I'm about to make this bitch Atlantis. So this man shoots at Atlantis. Atlantis. And blows up the mm -hmm. yeah. Look at this nigga's <laughs> like, Wow. Like, is he somebody hit a blow up island. We are about to sink. And look at El Drago. It literally just <laughs> ripped through the entire city. And that hoe just started going down. It was GG's for that whole city. They got lucky they even landed oh, that no. hole. Oh, no. 
But yeah, technically, uh -uh. bro sunk this whole island. So this is property <laughs> damage to the absolute max. This ain't no damn stadium. This is a whole city. That's a whole 50 points, bro. Uh, a whole 50 points. Damn. That enough. That enough. <laughs> Exhibit C. He already let his I now present to you our final exhibit. Man, a legacy of greatness. We now set our sights to a remote village on a island that has experienced recent events of terror. As Jenga <laughs> and his friends are searching for legendary bladers, they come across this man that recounts what happened to his village. In his words, he states, About two weeks ago, a man came here looking to infiltrate our sacred ground. He started to speak, but none of us could understand him. I beg your pardon. But then our village elder ended up realizing that he was speaking the ancient language of Gautamese. He then forced us to our ancient ground. And now the volcano that we thought was asleep for years started to awake again. We angered the dragon god. So we got on our knees and glared. Okay, I watched the original season of Blade Day Blade, okay? The original season. <laughs> right, I can't how do you like it? What are you rating? Like the one original second. What you rated of the original uh, series of Blade Blade? So the original season is like where he inherits his Beyblade from like his grandfather, and like they literally go to like a they form a team and they go to this tournament. He wins the tournament, the first one, and then they form a team afterward and they go to the world tournament mm. where they're all like competing against other teams of four. So it's I think it's Kai and like three other I can't remember their names, but like yo, the season was great. The first season was awesome. Um the, after that it kind of got weird. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell again we're again we're now watching just this. this right. Is that's, that's weird. Sleep for years started to awake again. We angered the dragon god. So we got on our knees and glazed him for forgiveness. So yeah, if you can't tell who this is by the villagers recap, it is most definitely Ryuga. They <laughs> More thought this one. man was a literal god. Like they was on oh, their knees glazing. Oh, glorious king Ryuga, please spare us. Oh, yo, this is ridiculous. First of all, he gets a point for breaking and entering on a sacred ground. And secondly, another one for terrorizing these villagers and basically having them in a hostage situation. So Kiyoya and Benkei end up climbing the volcano and finding him. And obviously, Kiyoya being the smoke demon he is, decided he wanted Damn. his rematch. That ass kicking from last time wasn't enough. So they start fighting and it is just absolute chaos. While Ryuga is going absolutely berserk. And not gonna lie, you can probably guess what happened after this. Kiyoya started pressuring him for a bit, but that shit ain't working. Because Ryuga Tada has a new bay again. El Drago Destructor. So Kiyoya gets absolutely blasted. Got toast. Like this man got cooked. Ryuga made this man unconscious again. And of course, here come Benke. Ah, my glorious Pookie Bear Kiyoya! <laughs> After Kiyoya gets boomed, guess who's Not next up on bear. the list? Jinka. Bro was trying to convince Ryuga to join them on their quest, but this man did not care at all. Bro said, yeah, 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 shut the fuck up, whip out your bay, and show me that you ain't a fraud, nigga. So they started fighting, and Jinka started getting blasted. Bro held nothing back against this nigga, and he just kept on hey, yapping hey, at him. Come hey, on, hey, hey, right? hey. Show me that that ring that you want against me wasn't some monkey <laughs> shit. So Jinka starts pushing back, but Ryuga said, no, 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 not today. So El Drago swaps the moves, says, get the fuck off me. Then Ryuga said, to hell with it, and blows up the volcano. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is, game set. The main character was cooked. Yo, no. And Ryuga did what many other <laughs> characters couldn't. Take the set over the main character. And look at him talking ish. <laughs> I knew you were a fraud. The main Fucking character Mickey died. Ring, your friends weren't here to save you this time, buddy. So right before he's about to leave, this other little boy trying to fight him. <laughs> Come on, this little boy. I'm sorry, Fine. I'm already laughing, but this shit is Fine, embarrassing. Brother. This oh, little nigga got his shit rocked. Then look at him. Bro tries to get up with a whole power up and everything. But why you go look that blood? Bro, come on. At least the little boy got hard though. He tried to fight. He like, no, you can't win. I like know, that. but it's kind of scary. At this point. Yeah, but now he's so crazy. He's crazy. Look at him. Yeah, that man's crazy for that though. I would even fight him. After seeing he's deep fried. I wouldn't even try to fight he him. He just blew something up. Put it in my face. It in my face. Hey man, I guess at least he tried. <laughs> 
Hey. So I you could just casually body the main cast. Later on, this man heads to the Sahara Desert to a village that's having his annual tournament. So here's the announcer hyping up their strongest dude. Ladies and gentlemen, we all love him and know him. Our village's strongest man, Sir Nando! And his opponent, a random traveler that just came here. <laughs> like that, you the village strongest. Is this who I think it is? Oh. oh. <laughs> and this whole tournament was just cooked. The strongest dude in the village. One shot. And just one shot. Big ass Whoa. Sam Solik built nigga got Guys. burned. And he wasn't the only one. Because every other opponent got one shotted. Nobody stood a chance. So then the king came out. So you would have to think this man is the king of his village. Uh -oh. So no way he could be sorry, right? 12 seconds later. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie, y'all need to hold into a lesson after that one. So then the final opponent of this tournament Yo, was he's Kendra reckless. in his big ass soccer oh, ball ass head. Another Every time one? I see this little nigga with his big Not ass an head, I just wanna punt him. And yeah, uh, I ain't even gonna waste no time on this. Kendra joins the rest of the main cast. Ooh. Gets made a statistic oh, oh, on this is. man's record. So after this Walter so got me. boomed, he ended up following Ryu to try to go on a journey of self discovery. And while they're on the kids middle of the attacking journey, they end up getting confronted by a tiger. But this man Ryu was not phased. Bro walks up <laughs> and mean mugs the tiger. He had bro shook. <laughs> And look at Tony the Tiger making the right decision to run away and live another day. Because bro would have not been eating no more Frosted Flakes. His ass would have became a pelt. Mm -hmm. So after this, Ryuga ends up entering another Battle Royale. Because apparently there's a legendary blader at the top of the tower. Oh so it starts. And while everybody's running, this man doesn't even move. Uh, he's just standing there. No way. So he waits for like a good <laughs> 10 minutes. So Why when the final 11 are up here battling, this man decides to <laughs> blow a hole in the tower and just knock out all 11 of them. But he wasn't done yet. He had to face Tsubasa in the finals. And I'm not going to lie to you. This one might be worse than the last time they fought. This shit lasted for one minute tops. This man pulls out a new special move and sends his bay to the mountains. <laughs> Finish him. Bro is I like, oh, no way I'm getting that back. Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. So after he hey, sent no. the baby, he <laughs> made him take a hike. He tells the legendary e blade to bring your ass out here. So bro comes down and he's like, oh. wait, please, please, please. I, I, I'm not no legendary blade, bro. I, 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 I'm a fraud. Is this Aww. nigga serious? So this man Ryuga was. This sound not legendary blade, blade. I'm a fraud. He called himself a fraud. That's crazy. I'm a frog. I'm, I'm a soul. <laughs> He's so. Well, they can summon a whole dragon meter. Pissed off. Bro went over to his bay and stepped on it. And Blood said, I don't like my time to be wasted, nigga. And this man just destroys the entire tower. This man does not like get tired of property damage. Mm. And then after he blows up the tower, the whole... look at old dude crawling mm. out the thing like, oh, never sign me up for this ever again. So after this man just destroyed the Tower of Babel, next up was Easter Island. Babel. Bro decided to participate in another Battle like Royale. Them. And look, people ain't even fighting them. They just cowering in fear and pissing they draws because they know it's pointless. But one man decided to fight him, and that was Goku. <clears throat> I mean, AKA King. And I didn't mean Goku as a joke. No, look, that nigga is a Super Saiyan. So you gotta think to yourself, surely a Beyblade and Super Saiyan can take him down, right? Man, shut your bitch ass up. Get out of here. Shut the fuck up before I knock your ass off. Did they just put a mini Goku in yeah, Beyblade? Like, <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. This. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mine is blown. I'm yeah, sorry. that's crazy. Nobody can stop <laughs> this crazy. man. No matter if you little mini Goku, anybody. Nobody can stop this man at this point. Yeah, he's literally unstoppable. Like, it has what? cleared the <laughs> whole verse. Literally. So there was only one person that could actually take this man down. And it was no simple mortal. Oh, no. This man's final battle is against a god. Yeah, it's gotten to this point. 
I mean, oh. no mortal can hang with the nigga, so why not a guy? Oh. So he starts fighting Rago, and guess who's dick eating Rago? Hello there, Master Ayuga. As you can see, I found another man to glaze. Like, this nigga just hopped off dick and just went to bandwagon. <laughs> oh so in this fight, Ryuga was going out with everything. Bo was just throwing nukes. But over time, bro started to get his ass beat. Nemesis just started destroying this man. Like, this is literally the first time you ever see this nigga with battle scars. And this man Doji over here talking shit. Oh, yes, look at you on the ground like a worm. My God, oh, no. how the hell did I ever dick eat you? Creep. This man was not about to go out like no bitch. This man I'm got so up, this had a legendary like, ass yap right. session, powered up and winning for his last attack, and end up having a massive clash. And the shockwave ends up hitting this man Doji, and this man falls to his death. Bro said, "If I'm going out, I'm taking you with me, you fucking dick eater." Oh, but sadly, after you. that, this man Ryuga was good, <laughs> and Bro gets hit with just straight Armageddon, and Ryuga takes the second loss of his Damn. career. Second well, uh, I mean, uh, at least he lost to a god of destruction. He lost to a god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Damn. Damn. And ladies he just needed some anger management. He would have been fine. <laughs> and after a very long week, <laughs> no. I'm not going to lie about the go to sleep. So, uh, appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'll update the whole leader boys and everything later, bro. But until we meet again, I'm out this hoe. Hey, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. that, was, that, was, that was crazy, though. Funny. Hopefully, CJ Champ drops a part three. We never know. That man, he lost to a guy, so I can't even say nothing bad. At least he put up a battle. But, hey, he got what he deserved. He was b killing the whole village. He didn't care. He even tried to blow up a whole city. That man is insane. But, um, yeah. Some meteors and dragons. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, I Everything. feel like I was watching, like reacting to the actual show itself. I think I would be more reactionary. But there was just too much going on. I tried to keep up. So, <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. I guess he did a good job at, like, him reacting. So, <laughs> yeah. my number, bad. Number two, since you love Blade Blade, you grew up on it. What can you say about this? Um, I'm gonna need the main character to calm the hell down because he's a little <laughs> angry. Like, oh I'm need <laughs> meteors and dragons every time you just go somewhere, and then why? Why the mini Goku? <laughs> wait, wait a minute, wrong anime. Like, <laughs> can we get a mini Vegeta, please? Yeah, I love Vegeta though. <laughs> Or a black freezer. That's what we need, though, for sure. But I really liked it. I think it was cool. Mm -hmm. Number three, what can you say about this video? Did we watch the other one together? Oh, that wasn't you. I don't think so. That probably wasn't you. I probably would do, but I don't know. You know, I'm very confused. Everything was happening very quick. I actually like, like, the action this time. You know what I'm saying? It was, like, funny and everything and dragons and whatever. Like, I don't know. It kept me entertained, you know? Um, so, yeah. I liked it this time, you know? <laughs> Number four, what can you say? <laughs> yeah, I feel like the action is what get me through because sometimes when I watch certain animes, I get bored, especially if it doesn't start off with, like, action or something. I need, like, gore. Like, I need that real... You did gore. But, you yeah, see so I feel like it was good. Actually, someone told me to watch Blade Blade, but I was already on Demon Slayer. So, like, let me okay. finish, finish Demon Slayer first. So, I'm going to actually get into Blade Blade after this because I was like, okay, it's enough action for me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was cool. I liked it. It was lit. Yeah. Number five, what can you say? <laughs> Very entertaining, like others have said. A lot going on, but I'd love to see more. It was, it was interesting. Mm -hmm. Uh, Number, well, I just said five, right? Number six. Yeah, number six, what can you say? Uh, like a lot of the other girls said, there was a lot going on. Every time I thought something, another thing was happening. So it was like, you can never stay on the same thought. And I don't like that Ryuga was going for the kids. Yeah, like, the, the kids, though. You had to touch them, though. That was crazy, though. Yeah, they like, pick up people your own size. It's just funny because the kids in here had, like, they had so much heart more than the other people. Other people were scared. At least they, the kids were trying to fight back. They were trying to fight for their village. They ain't play. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> number six. That doll is following. What you say, number six? Who was the kid following him? Did he kill that kid? I, the I, one where he was walking. Yeah, out he was following tiger. him. I guess he was trying to learn his moves or something because he was following him through everywhere. Though he was following the whole time. <laughs> but yeah, and then he got the mm -hmm. Number seven. What can you say? 
Um, I need to know his backstory because, like, what happened to him? Why, why did he turn into like this Minister evil society. villain? Yeah, that killed. That's how, that's what got to me. I was like, oh, I need to know why this is happening. Because, like, I like the action and everything, but I'm very much into plots. So I feel like for him to have that much anger and killing all these people and and how did he acquire that dragon you know like i want to know all these things because like yeah it's the beyblade but like i want to know more about how that connects now yeah um i already know people in the comment section just because you asked that they probably gonna write a whole back uh paragraph in the comments we'll do so the backstory <laughs> oh, hey i love it yeah, she, I love it i'll read it she Tag said she'll me. read it though so do it though she'll read I it will. Ooh. yeah um okay. last person what can you say about this <laughs> Um, I mean, really, all I gotta say is he was a certified shooter. Like, I know at any point anything go down, you got dude got my back. Like, yeah. you don't care who it is, he coming <laughs> from baby mamas, he's coming from dad's kids. He don't care who you are, he's he going for everybody. No everybody. No everybody. Yeah. But yeah. No everybody could get it. Right, exactly. <laughs> But yeah, man, you can follow these beautiful ladies on the screen. I know I did something different today. I brought a lot of ladies, so y'all got to get these likes up at least. If y'all <laughs> want the same group, um, I would do so. I thought this was going to be crazy to record this video because I'm like, it's too many people. But y'all got to understand, it's super hard to bring girls to uh, to collab sometimes, setting up the times and everything. So mm -hmm. only thing I ask for y'all do is hit that like button so y'all can keep getting these good reactions from ladies but um i love you guys all the uh social medias will be in the description right now and everybody comment rainy you're the goat because y'all know she what got the heart rainy you're the goat rainy get the goat rainy get the goat you're the goat rainy get the goat hey 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 you know what i'm saying hey y'all seen it y'all they're gonna be crying in the comments i'm player g the shorties just love you but hey, i love you guys see y'all next video man